Hey, what's going down, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Brookshire. Today happens to be my birthday. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how old I am. Let's just know that I am growing in wisdom and staying youthful, okay? Uh, you know, what I always like to do is I like to do one thing that I know for sure, some things I know for sure, and even though this, this, this message will be a little bit longer, but the thing that I've been really taking into key factor this go around that I wanna share was back on goals. And, 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 and success. Just what I've learned and a wise man told me is success is not necessarily always reaching the goals because we know in life there's gonna always be new goals and new goals that we reach every time we obtain another goal. But the truth in it is being able to have a goal and be in the position to be able to know you're going after it. So you have the freedom to go after the goal, you have the ability to go after the goal, you have the money, the mindset, whatever it is, you have the ability, and that is, my friends, true success, okay? But going more into, you know, my birthday, going into just, you know, realizing, and I, I, I know, yes, uh, you know, I'm out here at, Sweet Chicks restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Decided to come out here because I came here a while back and big shout outs, you know, I got me a chicken and waffle and some eggs and it was fantastic. And so I'm sitting up here at the bar treating myself right now into a birthday celebration. And I was sitting back talking to my buddy, my best friend, and I was just like, you know, go after it. You're going after it, Brooke. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta give yourself some credit, people. Sometimes you gotta be able to give yourself the credit you need for what you're doing. Life out here can be serious, it can be real. And what I've learned is that the bigger goals and the bigger uh, destiny that you might have on your life, you know, there is an enemy out there and there are certain circumstances and forces that may be trying to prevent you from it, even if it's your own mind or your own things that are on the inside. And I always try to tell people, don't allow your personality or the things that you might not like or the things that you're growing to stop you from being your authentic you. You understand? And so here on October 3rd on my birthday, I just want to make sure that I reflect because honestly, what I do in these reflections was I go back and I listen, you know, from the different years to see what was I saying, what was I thinking, how was I thinking, what was my mindset, you know, in 2018, October 3rd, 2018, what was my mindset? And my mindset right now is I still have trillionaire status. <laughs> you know, the good book, the Bible says that a good man is going to leave an inheritance for at least three generations. And that inheritance for those three generations is not just planting trees or, 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 or um, houses. Those are all a part of the wealth and the inheritance, but I'm talking about cash money. You wanna be able to leave cash money for your loved ones, three generations, however many kids you got, whatever's going on, you wanna be able to leave cash money for them as a good man. And so I am diligently doing what is needed, what I have to do. I'm grinding hard, I'm studying, I'm researching, and uh, trying to make a difference. Not trying to make a difference, but actively making a difference in my life. You know, God has allowed me to be able to live out here in California. God has allowed me to be able to, you know, think it and go after it, all right? And then also be able to give me the ability, the linguistic ability to communicate with individuals, to share my thoughts and ideas, to bring other people on. And that's a beautiful thing, folks, because the only reason why we should be talking is if we're communicating effectively to share your thoughts, share your points, get other people to understand your points, and hopefully others can grow with you. So that's what I want people to do with me on my birthday. I want you guys to be able to grow with me, you know, flow with me. Um, I feel like my success is our success because it's not just about me growing with your prayers, with your positive thoughts towards me. Even the ones, even my haters. I don't got a whole bunch of them, but I know you're out there. Uh, I thank you because you encourage me. Everyone encourages me. And I, I look at that almost in a form of serendipity mentorship where you're able to pull from any and every circumstance to be able to get what you need out of life to make your life your best life now. I see a beautiful future. I see going into 2019 and beyond being even better than today. I just thank God for keeping me in my right mind. <laughs> keeping me in my right mind, keeping me healthy, keeping me 
awake and keeping me motivated and, and hungry, hungry like my buddy Les Brown, hungry for the next level of life. Because let me tell y'all all something. As I always say, where your mind and your heart goes, your body will follow, okay? What you wanna think positive, you wanna keep your mind on positivity because that positivity is the creation of your tomorrow. You understand? It is the creation of your tomorrow. Remember, success. Remember, success. A wise man said your success is not necessarily reaching the goals because each person knows that every time you reach a goal, there's always going to be new goals as long as you have breath. So success is actually being in the position to know that you have a goal. And again, going after that goal. That's success. Knowing that you have one, I want to get it something to eat, so I put my clothes on. <laughs> I got myself together. I made sure I had gas in my car. I mapped quests, and I went after it, having a goal. And now I'm here, getting ready to eat one of a meal that I've really looked forward to. And it was a goal that I set, and it's accomplished. I'm accomplishing it. Now I'm going to set another goal from here. And that's the process of life, setting small goals to reach big goals and then accomplishing the big goals. But when you sit back and look at the progress of your life, you realize how much you've actually accomplished. You realize how much you've actually obtained. And now you have a resume and a track record of results. Okay? In the day, they say you can't necessarily judge a book always by its cover, but you can judge by the results. All right? So, I know we're going a little longer than maybe, but I just wanted to make sure that I extended this love. I want you to feel this love and this vibration because what's yours is yours. But you gotta hold on to it. You gotta put it in your mind vividly. You gotta keep your hands wrapped around it. As I always say, remember, you're like skillful farmers. You gotta till the soil, you gotta plant the seed. You gotta harvest the seed, you gotta water it, take care of it, and even as your fruit grows, you gotta protect it until it's time to take that bad boy to the shop to sell it. Whatever it is that you sell it. Because I always tell people, in this world you can get wealthy, but it's gonna be within two ways, either you creating something or being a part of someone's creation. Not just an employee, but at, actually at the part of the in creation process where you can actually make some coins from it, you feel me? So, live your best lives right now, right now, my people, because this is the only life that you have. And if you've done something where you may feel like you can't forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself, forgive yourself, <laughs> move on, ask God to forgive you, forgive yourself, mean it, and then make the steps, take one step at a time to reach your best you. Listen, I'm your boy, Mr. Brookshire, you know I love you months immensely, and, uh, Again, where your mind and your heart goes, your body will follow. I love you completely. Go after your best life now. And for all of my October babies, happy birthday to each and every single one of you. I'm sending many, many blessings, much, much energy and positive vibrations to all my Octobers. Libras, you guys rock. You know, we're the balance and scales of justice. We're the balance and scales of life. Go own your right now. You got me? I'm your boy, Mr. Brookshire, signing out. <laughs> Peace.